Royal history, you know, we always like a laugh, don't we? And as I told you recently, apparently Queen Victoria only ever uttered that word, we are not amused, once. And that became something that stuck, you know, a sort of, if you like, catchphrase, because everybody's used it, haven't they, over the years in sketches, in films, and attributed to her. But apparently, as I said, even in her lifetime, she was aware of it, but she said, well, I don't know where this has come from, but it's something that stuck. But what I find fascinating with the royals is exactly what makes them laugh. We do know, of course, that King Charles and Queen Camilla love that sort of bawdy humour, particularly delivered by the late Aussie comedian Barry Humphreys. Of course, in his guise of Dame Edna Everidge. Lucky enough to get to know him. Wonderful, very warm, kind and very clever man in the world of comedy. But what truly made Queen Elizabeth laugh? Her mother, of course, the Queen Mother, loved things like the Crazy Gang, George Formby, people like that. But there was one particular act that the late Queen kept requesting to see at the Royal Variety performance, but it never came to light. Why? As ever, let me explain. Morning, good to see you today. Thank you so much for your time. Comedy's a funny thing, isn't it? Well, it can be. Yes, oh, I've done stand-up comedy. Oh, as you can imagine, yes. And it's a tough game, you know, because you've got to go out there and make people laugh. And you have to decide whether the audience are on your side or not. And if you ever do these comedy nights, let me tell you, it's very daunting because every different comedian is, you know, obviously got a different act. So you're literally horning it the middle you, your minute you go out and think, will the audience like this? That's why character comedians work very well. And by character comedians, it's somebody who comes on in a guise. They've created a well-known character. It can be like Fanny Bryce with Baby Cooks or somebody like that instantly you know the character so you're not frightened about what they're going to say but the queen you see had a very specific things about what made her laugh as love george formby of course and people like that but other things that she did enjoy was this particular man the late and brilliant les dawson now les was a wonderful person he really was kind-hearted and just simply made you laugh he never really made it big internationally but over here the attributed national treasure status could be attributed to him he was so funny so down to earth and just well loved from the moment that he walked on the stage part of his act was being able to play the piano brilliantly but he played it badly and got you to sing along you get the picture now, what was interesting about this particular story is he created alongside his comedy partner, Roy Barraclough, a fabulous duo called Sissy and Ada. And the background to this duo was simply this. The pair created the characters in rehearsals in a homage to the music hall star, Norman Evans, who appeared in drag in a 1950 film called Over the Garden Wall, playing the lead character, Fanny Lawton. They were persuaded by the producer to use them in sketches in the show, says Les. Although Les was not too keen on donning drag and Barraclough was nervous that he wouldn't be able to match Les Dawson's talent for ad-libbing, the characters became a permanent feature on the show. Barraclough recalled that his characterization of Sissy was drawn from an aunt of his who always thought she was slightly above the rest of the family, Auntie Annie. You know, the sort of person that would always have a sherry and the rest of the family, well, would take the mickey out of her. Apparently Dawson's portrayal of Ada was uh, handbag tightly clutched to the waist in a manner suggesting of disapproval at every level. What was the problem? Well, the problem was that the Queen would have liked to see Sissy and Ada at the Royal Variety performance. She thought that this would go down well with the audience and she had been introduced to Sissy and Ada by her sister, Princess Margaret, and found them hilarious behind palace doors. And she thought, well, if I find it quite funny, let's see if the rest of the audience, which she knew were very popular with these characterizations, would enjoy it too. So sadly, although they enjoyed it on TV, it was never be able to come around, even though the request was put into both Les and Roy. Nobody's quite sure, even though Les appeared on numerous Royal Variety performances, why he didn't do that particular act. Some suggest that he felt it might have been in bad taste, you know, him in drag, and she'd known him, of course, as a stand-up comedian. Others suggested that he was simply very nervous about going off kilter and maybe saying the wrong thing in front of royalty, which he had the highest respect for. So without further ado, here's a short clip to give you a flavour of exactly why the late Queen, Queen Elizabeth, loved these two characters so much. Sissy and Ada, well, in their prime. Well, 
What you... particular occupation have you got in mind for him, Chair? Frau Leslie. Hmm. <laughs> I thought that nosy cat from number three was him. <laughs> I wouldn't tell another living soul this. Oh, well, my lips are sealed. Oh, no, <laughs> the theatre, probably. Oh. Ooh. I thought that'd shake it. You know, it's not widely known around here that when I was younger, I was something of a performer myself. Did you know I had no idea you had any experience on the boards? Oh, yes, once. But I got back ache and my husband got splinters in his knee. <laughs> what I meant to say was I had no idea that at one time you'd been a thespian. Oh, I never was. <laughs> never was. I was once friendly with a drag act called Morris. I'm so glad you enjoyed that sketch and as ever thank you so much for taking the time out to join me in hopefully that's something that's uh, kind of giving you a little bit of a smile and a laugh. If you don't understand a lot of the Lancastrian sayings, check them out online. It will certainly make you laugh.